When you hear that an engine's called Warhawk, you start to think that maybe you're dealing with something a little out of the ordinary. I'm standing here in front of our project All Air Camaro. Now this is a car that we hope to turn into a nine second drag warrior. And to achieve that, we're gonna need power and lots of it. This is our little secret, except there's nothing little about 454 cubic inches. This is our World Warhawk engine, direct from the guys from World Products. And it's one of the nastiest LF7s you'll see built up. Today on this segment, we're gonna show you the build up and dyno testing of the World Block and the LS7X heads. And trust me, the power numbers are just like the engine, big. New York is not the warmest place to visit in November, but we traveled to World Products in Ronkonkoma to witness firsthand the buildup of the World 454. Let's review our requirements for our project. Number one, we wanted an LS-based engine capable of at least 700 horsepower. Second, we wanted to use generally available off-the-shelf parts. Lastly, we wanted to use a carburetor to save money and for easy tuning capabilities. It didn't take long for us to start looking at the World Warhawk engines, available in 427, 454, and even jaw-dropping 481 cubic inch sizes. In order to be in the engine business, you gotta have the, the block casting, the cylinder head, the intake manifold, and so forth. So we first developed the block, then we developed the head, and we wind up putting a complete package together until it's a running engine. So the idea behind it was actually to make an assembly. Now it's time to move on to our engine build. It all starts with a World Warhawk 9.8 inch tall deck LS7X aluminum block capable of supporting well over 1500 horsepower. Key features on the World Warhawk block include the tall deck design, which is capable of producing up to 481 cubic inches or even more. A lightweight aluminum construction, which saves well over 100 plus pounds compared to an iron block. And a revised oiling system that features priority main oiling which World says will offer a long, dependable life under hardcore racing conditions. World did the full machine work at the World Warhawk in-house, including the boring and block prep. To produce 455 cubic inches, we installed an Eagle 4.25 inch stroke crankshaft that works with long Eagle 6.56 inch rods, both 43-40 steel. This Eagle crank features a non-twisting forging, has cross-drilled oil holes for improved oiling, and generous radius on the rod and main journals for increased strength. It should take our 700 plus horsepower with no problem. Diamond pistons that are 4.125 inch in diameter, producing about 13.5 to one compression ratio for our naturally aspirated engine, we slid into the engine block wrapped in total sealed piston rings. World selected a gapless ring which produces an increase in horsepower and torque, along with better ring seal. The camshaft is critical in a naturally aspirated engine. To achieve the 7,000 RPM redline, CompCams profiled a custom ground solid roller camshaft that worked with CompCams mechanical lifters. Specs on the camshaft were 746 lift, 280 degrees of duration at 50 on the intake, 714 lift, and 288 degrees of duration at 50 on the exhaust. Finishing off our short block assembly, we've got an ATI harmonic balancer, we've got a Moroso LS7 oil pan and pickup, Fell Pro gaskets. We've also got a Crane Cans double roller timing chain setup with a GM LS7 timing cover provided by Scog and Dickey. Now, until very recently, it was impossible to build a huge LS engine with off the shelf parts, and even if you could build it, there wasn't the cylinder head technology to really exploit it. But that's all changed with new LS7 style rectangular port cylinder heads that are now available in the marketplace. For our naturally aspirated power plant, you don't see any nitrous on this bad boy. Airflow is critical, so we've decided to go with World's LS7X Warhawk heads, which are fully CNC ported by Kunz & Company. Let's get on with the build. After laying down the Felpro MLS head gaskets, we installed the World LS7X heads using ARP head studs. The heads are 12 degrees and are improved versions of the GM LS7 factory head. With a 285cc intake port, these heads have the foundation to produce major horsepower. World offers the heads in a variety of configurations, but for this engine build, we chose manly valves, 2.25 inch intake, and 1.625 inch exhaust, and CompCam's double valve springs. Key features in the World LS7X heads are the addition of extra head bolts, which helps ensure head sealing under high compression nitrous or boost, a raised valve sealing surface to accommodate longer valves, and shaft rocker arm setups and a revised rocker geometry to allow a much larger valve spring for great spring pressure. 
To top off the heads, we installed a full set of Jessel shaft rocker arms, along with Trend 8.6 inch long push rods. Finally, it was time to cover up the engine with valve covers. The standard World 454 comes with GM valve covers, which were supplied to us by Scoggin Dickey. Another option is the custom Moroso sheet metal valve cover seen here, which can also feature any logo the engine builder or customer chooses. We've topped it off with a GM Performance Parts intake manifold supplied by Scog and Dickey. We've also got an AED Dominator carburetor. So the 454 certainly looks mean enough and should make the 700 horsepower that we're chasing. But the question is, how much more horsepower can we make than our goal? Could this be the most powerful LS7 with off-the-shelf parts naturally aspirated ever built? Well, as we strap the 454 to the dyno at World, let's head to the shop and see what the guys think. An impressive first run, 781 horsepower and 577 foot-pounds of torque, already blowing away what we expected. However, the world team felt that by re-jetting the carburetor, that there was more power to be found. Let's see what she does with some fine-tuning. An unbelievable 802 horsepower and 585 foot-pounds of torque that's an increase of 21 horsepower and 8 foot-pounds of torque. Those are some serious numbers coming from World's 454 LS7X engine. Can you believe we made over 800 horsepower with just a few off-the-shelf world parts and a 13.5 to 1 compression ratio? It's not even a full race engine and it's going to be a serious ride in our F-body Camaro. Even more impressive than that is that World will give you a two-year warranty on your 454 Street engine if you tone down the compression ratio to a 10 to 1. That's a 700 horsepower engine. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Bucko, bringing you some of the most extreme engine builds right to your screen. Catch you later.